Hello. Welcome to this week's edition of Acting Tips with Howard Fine, powered by Casting Networks. The difference between comedy and drama has everything to do with the issue. What is the scene or piece about? If I am crying because somebody I love has passed away, it's drama. If I am crying because I have purchased a pair of jeans two sizes too small and I can't get them over my butt and it moves me to tears, it's comedy. The investment is the same. The issue makes it funny. So one of the mistakes that actors make with comedy is they think they'll take it less seriously. And that is a mistake. Because if it doesn't matter to you, if you're not in crisis, it will not matter to us. We will care about you in direct proportion to how much you choose to care about anything. If your investment is mild, our investment in you is mild. If you want to see comedy that still holds up, watch I Love Lucy. The I Love Lucy episodes still hold up today and still crack me up because of the investment. It was always life or death. Lucy wasn't wink, wink at the camera, oh, I'm being funny. She made whatever she needed to do matter, whether that was getting a chance to perform in Ricky's band or whether that was handling the factory and the assembly line with Ethel, or whether that was Vita Mita Vegemin. Whatever the scene was, she had high stakes and truly invested. So in drama, yes, the issue will take care of itself. Both forms need some of the other. Drama needs humor, otherwise it turns quickly into melodrama. And comedy needs depth. Otherwise, it becomes shtick. So you've got to have a good craft for handling both. And the better writing, let's face it, has elements of both. You've got to know how to invest, no matter which form you're using. Now, what's the most common trap with drama? Trying to feel emotion. Human beings want to move through emotions, want to feel better. When we feel bad, we want to feel better. So a common mistake with drama is sitting in the emotion. If you sit down into the emotion, it's as if you are running a race and you just stopped in the middle of a race and sat down on the track. Your objective keeps you moving forward. So remember, when somebody has experienced real pain, if you think about that in your own life, the person talking about it knows it's true. They don't have to make it be true. The actor tends to pick up a sad story and try to become pained and very sad in order to tell the story. No, you have to make it real for yourself and then try to be okay. Try to move through the pain.